Welcome back to the show, everybody, and welcome back to another edition of Interesting Snake Facts. Pretty much, I'll just scroll through my group, WSED, and I'll throw some interesting snake facts at you as I scroll through the group. So I shared this post yesterday. Um, These are Decay's brown snakes in Pennsylvania in late February, so... We've had a few 40-ish degree days here in the northeastern United States. And after a long winter, this will stimulate snakes to at least come to the surface. And as you can see, they're probably soaking up some of that warmth from this slate. Looks like a piece of slate. Um, And all they need is just a little bit of warmth to soak up. And come out and then once the temps drop again they'll go back down into wherever they're spending the winter it's not unusual to see this kind of behavior in late winter when we start getting some slightly warmer days and of course the decays brown snake is a non-venomous small snake they don't get much bigger than 12 inches as adults and they're very common and they've adapted to living around human dwellings. They can often be found in backyards, um, in parking lots, in abandoned sites, and they do live, they've adapted to living in cities. One of the reasons they've adapted so well is they feed heavily on earthworms and slugs, and earthworms and slugs are also found anywhere there's soil, backyards, vacant lots, things like that. A couple days ago, I posted this photo of a Florida water snake. This Florida water snake exhibits the numerous evenly spaced markings and striped labial scales on the mouth that will help differentiate this species from the cottonmouth. Keep in mind that large female Florida water snakes can be very dark with little to no markings visible. So as you can see here on this snake, those numerous bands going down the length of the snake evenly spaced bands cottonmouths do not have these markings they have more irregular larger and fewer markings than on one of these florida water snakes now this post has been making the rounds in the various snake groups on facebook a highly venomous sea snake found on a Hawaiian island beach. This is a yellow-bellied sea snake. And they are completely aquatic, pelagic. They drift around the globe in the warmer oceans. And when they do catch a current and they get too close to the cold water in the northern Pacific, for example... Um, They can get cold stunned, and this is when they wash up on shore. It's mostly sick, dying, and cold stunned sea snakes that wash up on shore in places like California and Hawaii. These snakes have no reason to come onto land. They do everything in the water, including giving birth. And yes, the yellow-bellied sea snake is highly venomous, however, bites are rare just because humans don't really come in contact with these snakes often. The bites that do occur are usually when a sea snake gets caught in a fishing net and a fisherman attempts to release the snake. The snake is stressed out and it will strike out and envenomate. The weather begins to warm up in the northeastern U.S. Northern water snakes emerge and begin to seek out a mate. It is not unusual to see several male water snakes gathered around one female, each attempting to mate with her. This mating ritual has spawned several myths, including the infamous nest of moccasins that is widespread wherever snakes and water exists, even where cottonmouths are not native. So in the early days of spring, water snakes will emerge and immediately begin their mating behavior. And this is a photo I took in Connecticut of two male water snakes with one female. And the female is the larger snake in the middle of the photo. 
males are much smaller than females um, in the water snake species. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up. Share my videos. Help me spread education.